Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on rekindling libido at the time of the menopause and it's really important because having decent libido really does affect our self-esteem and our relationships. But going through the menopause, maybe sex is the last thing on your mind. You don't want to be touched because you're feeling hot and sweaty. Women I encounter in my clinic tell me that they feel like they've been switched off from the waist downwards and that really means over half of them can't have an orgasm over half of them have vaginal dryness sometimes to the point of feeling that they're tearing or even bleeding so the first thing to do is not rekindle your libido but get your vaginal tissues back into good shape you can do that by consuming naturally occurring estrogen regularly so soy products and linseeds and maybe taking some red clover pills and also making sure you've got lots of good nutrients in your food and you're eating wholesome food little and often. And even using some coconut oil can help to soothe your tissues to help with inflammation in the area. And there are some supplements that help. For example, there's a supplement called Lady Prelox, which is made from pine bark and some other natural ingredients it's been shown in trials to help to raise libido. So there's horny goat weed as well, other things that you can do to help yourself to have better libido. But the first thing you need to do is get your tissues into good shape. Once you've done that, then go ahead with perhaps doing more foreplay, lots of massage, listening to music, and maybe even fantasizing. Lots of the things that you perhaps used to do before you had your kids and you now need to put those back into your life so that you're feeling a bit more sexy again, you're feeling a bit more playful and it's okay to be playful because it isn't going to hurt. So really get your ducks in a row, sort your tissues out first and then you can move on to the things that are going to make you feel more sexy so that you can be a playmate in the bedroom once again and hopefully improve your relationship and your self-esteem because I think it's really important. It's such a, a great part of our lives and it's such a pity to get to midlife and think that that's the end of all that. It doesn't have to be that way and you can get yourself back to feeling really sexy. So if you want to know more, come to my website, sign up for my newsletter, and come and join me at one of my masterclasses where I talk for a whole hour about what's going on in your body at the time of the menopause and how you can annihilate those symptoms naturally. I look forward to you joining me.